Hey everyone, welcome back to another week of weekly pickups of your host, Polish Gaming. We'll get into it with, uh, I'd like to give a big shout out to Errol Lell, who was the organizer of the NZ Retro event. Uh, I'll put his link in the description below with Geek Inventory down there. That's his company that he uh, sells all nostalgic stuff like games, uh, toys, and quite a lot of stuff there. He also does this magazine. This magazine is amazing. Volume 2. Uh, the first one was great, but this one is even bigger. It's got an uh, interview with Bill Oakley, who is one of the writers for Simpsons. It's got heaps of stuff like Tazos, Animaniacs, games. Uh, there's a lot talking about DeLorean. They're talking about the NZ Retro event from the last, uh, I believe it was in July. Because they do two a year. They're going to do another two next year. But amazing. I'll um, even stick a link into the description for this as well. This is $15 and he does have volume one still available. So if you can get it, get in and get it as quick as possible. Because these are amazing read and absolutely great. Real good to pass the time. Now bear with me on this one. This one may take a little bit of time because I'm going to go through... Uh, now, the whole bundle as a whole, all of these games basically added up to $15 each, uh, but uh, some of them were more, more expensive, some of them were lower, but I'm just basically going to go off the $15 and go from there from a So, without further ado with this one, we'll go on to it. Now, Battlefield 5, a deluxe edition there. That one there was $15. Now, on Delameter this week, it's only a 1 out of 5, just for the sheer fact that it does sit at $9 on price charting. Now, like I said, this isn't... Um, this isn't fully 100% on what it is because originally it would have been something like he would have sold it to me for $6 or something like that that would make it uh, worth it. But as I'm buying it as a whole bundle, everything I added up and basically made it all one. So some are going to be more expensive. Some are, some are good good savers, some of them aren't. But yeah, we'll go on that. And like I said, don't go off the actual numbers like this because normally I'll probably buy this for around about 7 or 8 and I think that's what it was um, when he sold it to me. But yeah, 1 out of 5 for the dealer on that one. Uh, next one here is Borderlands. Now this one, Borderlands 3, this one here gets, uh, it's paid $15 and it gets a 2 out of 5 for the uh, dealer meter there, that one there, because it sits at $12. Just a little bit below the market value, like I said, I would pay a little bit less for that, but it's alright. Uh, Black Ops 3 Gold Edition, now this one here sits at 2 out of 5, uh, and, and it normally, I paid 15 for it, it normally sits around about $10.63. A little bit of damage on the back here, so I probably won't add this to my collection. Uh, just for the sheer fact, I am trying to get as much, I don't really want to upgrade later, so I won't add this into my game system now but basically at a later date once i get an upgrade on the gold edition i'll grab that and put that take that off the list uh next one here is call of duty ghost now this one here was 15 and on the dealer meter it sits at a three out of five for that the reason why it's because it's very neutral it sits at 15 dollars on price charting as well so yeah not too bad and this one includes a free for limited edition map so i do like it when they do attach things onto the game for like day one editions and stuff as you can see it does have in there uh, and in most of the DLCs that I get in leaflets probably don't work. I don't actually test them out. I like to just keep them in there regardless. I'd rather have them even if they're used as to have them as complete. Uh, next one here is Modern Warfare 1. Now this one here sits at a 3 out of 5 because I paid 15 for it. And it is a, it is $15 uh, for this one. Uh, sorry, sorry, $14. So that one there, it sits at pretty much an average price for that. Uh, next one here. Now this one's a little bit, bit a little bit better. There, Modern Warfare Two. I paid fifteen. This one's uh, for the dealer meter. It sits at a five out of five. Now the reason for that is because it sits at thirty four dollars on price charting. Now I would have paid a little bit more than this, but like I said, adding into the bundle and equating it to it, averaging it out at fifteen dollars, this was a steal. Uh, the next one here is Darksiders Three. Now Darksiders Three is was I paid fifteen. It sits at a dealer meter on three three out of five. Purely for the reason that it is another average one that sits at $14, so not much of a loss on that one. Next one here is Darksiders Genesis. Now this one, be, I paid 15 this one is a, uh, this one gets a 4 out of 5 on Delameter, and the reason for that is because of the fact that it has sealed and it goes for 19 A little bit less when it's not sealed, so this one being sealed is quite um, is not a bad deal on that. Uh, next one here is Diablo 3, Reaper of Souls. Now, this one was paid $15 on the dealer meter. Unfortunately, it sits at 2 out of 5, just for the fact that it is $11. Uh, next one here now. This one is Dishonored, Death of the Outsider. Uh, this one I paid $15 for on the dealer meter. Sadly, it sits at a 1 out of 5, uh, just for the fact that it's only $9.86. Now, all these Dishonored games, I've got them on the 360, all seem to be set really low, like $5 to $10. So... They go away one game of the year edition, um, as I've got, where is it? Uh, yeah, as I've got here, it's got a game of the year edition, so it must have been good in some way. Some people must have liked enough to get game of the year. Uh, next one here is Grand Theft Auto 5, the GOAT for all systems, 360 Xbox One Series X. This game has just surpassed anything by numbers. 
in crazy price. And of course, we're not really counting Fortnite because it's just something that's just played for free and just a lot of people pound money into. This was just sold so much. Like, it's an amazing game. Absolutely amazing. The Xbox One and even better on the Series X. So this one I paid $15 for. It sits on a 3 out of 5 on the dealer meter because it's uh, $16.70 on price charting. So very close to what I paid for it. Next one here is Mafia 3. Now, Mafia 3 sits at $15, and on the dealer meter, it sits at a 1 out of 5 star. Uh, 1 out of 5, another reason. That is $8.62 on price charting. Not the best uh, not the best deal on that one. I do actually already have this on Xbox One because I've got the Steelbook, but I needed the standard edition because the Steelbook I don't put in my collection. So, And actually, you'll probably look, there's no Xbox One here. It sits in the corner. So this just basically will get added under all of the Xbox One games at the end of it. Uh, now, next one here is Sega Mega Drive Classics. Now, this one's a little bit of an odd one on price charting because it sits at $15 that I pay for, but it's out of the dealer meter, it sits at four and a half, uh, four and five. The reason why is because it's at $34.61. Now, I would not put this game at that price. I'd probably put it about, about, about $20 to $25. That's pretty much what it sits on the, um, what it sits on the uh, Xbox 360, which I will show you. Where is it? Right. There it is. Yeah, see, and that that that's a little bit more expensive than this, I think. This one, even though this one has fifty games and this or for over fifty, and this one has over forty. So, I don't actually know what the difference in the games is. I have actually played the three hundred and sixty version and completed it, but I have not played this one yet. So yeah, not too bad. Uh, next one here is On Rush Day One Edition. Now this one is fifteen dollars. Uh, and the dealer meter, it sits at a 4 out of 5. Uh, reason for that is it sits at $20.49, so it's not too bad. This one looks like quite a fun little game. It's like a downhill kind of... It's like a... I guess a kind of rally, but with off-road game, but with all types of vehicles, uh, buggies, ATVs, bikes. So looks pretty interesting. Almost like an MX vs. ATV Untamed. Or at least all of them, to be honest, Supercross. Rage 2. This one sits at this one I paid $15. So now this one unfortunately sits at a 1 out of 5 on a dealer meter because of the fact that it's $8.25. It's not that great of a game. I don't know. I heard this game was good, but I don't think it got greatest reviews. Uh, next one here is Sea of Thieves. Now this one is I paid $15 for, and on the dealer meter it sits at a 4 out of 5. Uh, now the reason for that one is because it's $21.70 on price charting. Yeah, it's pretty much a pretty cool game from what I gather. I don't necessarily like these kind of pirate games, but uh, there's a lot of people that are into it. I still need the Sea of Thieves uh, controller, so that one's a bit hard to find. Uh, next one here is uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. Paid $15 for that one. That sits only at a 2 out of 5 on a dealer meter because that one there is only $10.37 on price charting. Bit gutted. Really cool game if you haven't played this. I've played the Shadow of Mortal on the 360. Haven't played Shadow War, but if it's anything like the original and the controls are still the same, it's gonna be a banger. It's really cool game. Cool kind of uh, controls like Batman Arkham Asylum almost, like the way the fluid controls the counters and everything like that. Uh, next one here for the Xbox One is the last one on this list is Wreckfest. Now this one here was fifteen dollars, and on the on the dealer meter it sits at a four out of five because it's eighteen dollars and eighty two cents. So not too bad of a not too bad of a um a deal there. It wasn't too bad. And this one pretty much is it's not anything to do with the Destruction Derby. If you're gonna say anything, it pretty much is a follow up to Destruction Derby because it's the only real uh, Destruction Derby that we have on the Xbox One or Series X or even the three sixty. So because yeah. I mean, the only one that I could really think of that's like it is like uh, Flat Out, which, or, or Burnout, but yeah, they're just not the same as Destruction Derby, but this is pretty, uh, pretty on tour with uh, Destruction Derby vibes. Now, next one here, uh, now this one is Bully, the Xbox, Xbox 360 case, Xbox One edition. Now, this is a 360 One edition, where it basically has the black spine. I'm going to go for a full set of these, I think there's about 10 or 15 of them, I'm not too sure. Uh, there's a Red Dead one, I know that. Uh, this one here, now... It's a great, I've got a good, good deal on this one, and I'll tell you why. It's, it goes for a 5 out of 5, and the reason why is because this one was put in by Sam for free. Uh, he said the reason why is because it didn't come with manual, but unfortunately, <laughs> I mean, he'll probably most likely see this video. Uh, yeah, it's um, they don't come with manuals for these specific editions because they are the actual online manual. So it comes with the map, it comes with Bully, and that's pretty much it. So that's $33 on price charting, so that one sits not too bad for me uh, on a 5 out of 5. Yeah, so not too bad. Uh, he's probably going to see um, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Halo Wars probably not in here. I'll let you know on those ones. Halo Wars was a little bit too far damaged on my eyes. I'm going to sell that one off. And the Red Dead, unfortunately, didn't work. But considering you gave me this one as a hookup, I basically just will write those ones off. And 
and I'll be sending you um I'll be sending you some uh, CDs to skim. So yeah, cheers for that, man. Absolutely appreciated this one. I've been uh, it's not an easy one to find the bully one. Uh, next one here is Operation Flashpoint Red River. Now this one I paid ten dollars for on the dealer meter. It sits at a three out of five because it's exactly ten dollars straight medium pricing. So that's it for that one. Not much to say there. And that's all for Respect Retro. Now we go on to cash converters here. This one was a gamble. This is like a CEX. Anyone in England or um, or anywhere who has CEX knows about the gamble of CEX. You basically go, hey, you can't ask if it's got manual. You just basically take the take the hit and you'll either get it with a manual or you won't. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty hit and miss with that. It's a 50-50. So with this, I couldn't be bothered asking cash converters. Uh, sometimes they don't respond, so I'm like, I can't be bothered. So I basically was like, okay, $5, why not? I'll take the gamble. I, and you've got to pay $10 for postage as well. But I never actually put on here the postage. It's just the game cost. Not counting that because postage can be different anywhere. So with this one here, it sits at uh, $5 I pay for, but with mine, it sits currently at five out of five because it was $23.63, and these are starting to get harder to come by. I need the 2007 Final Fantasy Collection, the 2008 Final Fantasy Collection, which I think is the Vanadeel Collection, and Seekers of Aldoin, which is very expensive and sitting at $800 to $900 now. So uh, it's a bit frightening to know that that is one of the ones that I will eventually have to get for the uh, 360. Now, onto the retro event stuff. I didn't really get that much. I didn't have much money saved up. I was, um, This bundle that I picked up from Sam Mudgeway was bought beforehand. So I was just going to pick that up. Wasn't actually intending on going to the retro event just because of the sheer fact I'm trying to save up for Australia. But I thought, no, you know what? I'm going to go. There might be something I want. And there was. I was very specific on what I wanted. I wanted to go for Sega and Xbox 360 stuff that I don't have. Not a single 360 game there. And, and there was heaps. I did. I had them all. So not a single, even the classics, not a single one that I needed. So I was having a look around and I managed to find this. Now, this was the last one that I needed for the Resident Evil set for the PS1. Or Resident Evil Survivor, or in some places it's called Gun Survivor. Uh, it, this cost me $60 on the dealer meter sale. It sits at a 4 out of 5 because it sits at about $74.72. He did originally have this up for 80 and then kind of haggled himself down without even me saying. He's like, oh, you know what, I'll do it for you at 80 Uh Yeah, so... Stoked to get that. That's the last one. I've got Resident Evil, Resident Evil Direct Discard, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Survivor now. That's everything for the PS1 that I need. So I'm stoked about that. Now, next one here is one that I really have been looking for for a while, and I finally find it. I finally found it, should I say. Now, Psychic, Psychic World. Uh, this is actually quite an interesting game. It's kind of like a run in a gun. It's a platformer, but very interesting in the way that it goes. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a running gun in a sense. It's very interesting. But yeah, Psychic World, I pay 50 for that. Now, this sits at a 5 out of 5. Now, I'll tell you the reason for this. I don't personally think it sits at $135.65. It's where it says it sits on price charting. I definitely don't think it sits that high. I would say, if anything, I've seen it go for about 70 to 80. So I'm still going to rate that as a 5 out of 5. It's still a good score. I need it. This pulls me down to 27 for the full set. And a full power set, should I say. And I'm just stoked to get that. So, absolutely stoked. Now, well, actually, while I'm doing this, I just realized it's probably not going to show up in the baggie that it's in, so we'll take it out. This one, hold your breath, peeps, because this is a grail. I never thought I was going to get it. It's part of a satin, it's part of a satin, uh, part of the satin pal collection, and I just really didn't think I was going to get it. Now, I will say hold a drum roll, but I'd rather a Zelda tune, so hopefully my editor will pull it up as slowly as possible and bring up the Zelda tune. Enemy Zero. Now, I'm not going to block on my face. I was just doing that for that. $280 I paid for this one. Now, this sits at a 5 out of 5. Normally, that's a good... That's that's where it averages out. $272 for a standard edition. Now, here's the kicker to this one. This is sealed. Factory sealed. It's got the Sega seal there. It's got the Sega seal there. But as you can hear, the game's... <laughs> falling away so i'm basically just going to have to put that up in the thing uh, put it up on my shelf and leave it there and hope that it's <laughs> and, and never move it i'm never going to open this up it's way too cool to play and it's an fmv game so i'm not really that not a big fan i used to play a game called silence silent strike i think it was called no, yeah silent strike which was on pc uh you're in a submarine and it's all fmv uh, it was cool but for the time but i would never play that game again but I'm stoked. And cheers to Frank Young for that one. I give a shout out to him. I didn't actually realize I was buying off him until he actually said my name. He's like, and he's like, oh, I'm Frank Young. I'm like, oh my God, ne never put a name to the, you know, a face to the name. So absolutely stoked to get that off the list. Uh, like I say, this one sits, it's a five out of five because it sits at $476.56 new 
like I say, I paid 280 for it. Even two set, even the 280, it's not bad for an open one, but this is sealed. $476.56 on a dealer meter. It sits at a five out of five. It's a great deal. Absolutely stoked for that. So yeah, that's me for the week. Um, I'm hoping that uh, you guys are really liking the, um, I hope you guys are really liking the platform and all the editing that's going through. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It always boosts, you know. Always great to uh, try and give as much content as possible. I'm really standing out some Pokemon stuff, standing out some games. Going to do some genre genre selections and game uh, game series collections and stuff like this. And just get a little bit more, I'm getting a lot more flow uh, in the ways of YouTube. So stay tuned. There's going to be more. What's up Wednesday's coming up on Wednesday and that's going to be a great one. I've, I've, I just opened a pack of, uh, three pack of boosters just before. So uh, tune in for that one. It's only a short video. It's only around about two and a half minutes long, but I'm just going to chuck that one up for tomorrow. Maybe you might chuck it up tonight. But until then, see you guys later. Like I say, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, continue being you and uh, liking my videos. I love it. And I'm honest all for you guys. I really love, uh, I really love the history and all that stuff behind gaming. So it's fun to talk about and it's fun to show you my weekly pickups. See you later.